Welcome to Joe's Math Tools, where math is made easy. In today's session, we will be converting a percentage into degrees without simplifying our fractions first. To convert your percentage into a degrees, we're first going to be changing our percentage 37% into a fraction with 100 as its denominator. Next, we're going to be multiplying our percentage times 360 degrees, which measures to a complete revolution. And if you feel comfortable, remember that you can always write 360 degrees with 1 as its denominator. Now, we're going to multiply our 360 degrees by our 37. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 6 will give us 42. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 4 will give us 25. We're now going to begin multiplying by our 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 6 is 18. And 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 will give us 10. Let's sum our numbers together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 5 plus 8 is 13. 2 plus 1 will give us 3. And we're going to bring our 1 down. So we now have... 13,320 degrees with 100 as our denominator. And if you recall in an earlier video, I demonstrated how we can take our numbers and divide them by our multiples of 10. Remembering that when we have numbers such as the one we're using, 13,320, remember that your decimal point is always behind the last digit. And when you're dividing by those multiples of 10, such as 100, we're going to divide by moving our decimal point two places to the left. So that would be 1, 2, and my decimal point will now be between my 3 and my 2, making my number 133.20. So my number 37% in degrees will be equal to 133 Point two degrees. Let's try another example. You can feel free at this point to pause the video, convert 81% into degrees by multiplying your numbers out and then changing your number into a decimal number by dividing by 100. And then after you finish your calculation, you can unpause the video and see if I got the exact same answer that you did. Okay, so let's begin remembering that we're going to change 87% into a fraction with 1 in its denominator. And we're going to multiply our 81 100 times our 360 degrees. And remember that if you feel comfortable, you can still put 1 in your denominator and it will not change the value of your number. Now we're going to begin multiplying our 360 degrees times 81. 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 6 will be 6, and 1 times 3 will equal to 3. We're going to add our 0 and begin multiplying by our 8. 8 times 0 is 0, 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 will give us 28. Now let's sum our numbers together. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 6 will equal to 6. 8 plus 3 is 11, put our 1, carry the 1, 8 plus 1 will give us 9, and we're going to bring our 2 down. So now that we've multiplied 81 times 360 degrees, this will equal to 29,160 degrees being divided by 100. And again, we're going to take our number, remembering that your decimal point is always behind the last digit, and we're going to move it two places to the left, which will equal to 291.60 degrees. And remember that if you want to check this answer as well, you can still perform your division for my persons who are probably still not clear. I will demonstrate that in this part of the video as well. So remember that you can still take this same number here, 29,000. 160 and divided by 100 
and you will notice that we still get the exact same answer however moving the decimal point is one of those shortcuts that you can use once you understand the rules and the principle that goes along with it that will help you to skip the whole process of dividing by 100. So I will still go to the division for this part of the example so that you can get a better understanding as to why we moved the decimal point or how we even arrived at this answer to um, begin with. So let's start here. So we know that two can, 100 can divide into 2 because it's less than 100. 100 can divide into 29 again because it's less than 100. So we're going to divide 100 into 291, which will go twice. 2 times 100 is 200. 200 subtracted from 291 will leave us with 91. We're going to bring down our 6. 100 goes into 916 nine times. 9 times 100 will be 900. 9 16 subtract 900 would equal 2 16. Bring down our zero. And 100 goes into 160 once. 1 times 100 is 100. 160 subtract 100 gives us 60. We're going to input our decimal point at this point since we have done dividing with all of our whole number parts. Adding a zero, bring down that zero changing our 60 into 600 100 goes into 600 six times and six times 100 would equal to 600 600 to jack 600 is zero so again you can see that when we perform our long division we still ended up at the exact same answer so my percentage 81 percent in degrees is equal to 291.6 degrees okay so there you have it we just demonstrated how you can convert your percentages into degrees by just multiplying your numbers out and then performing your division at the end but remember the best way for you to remember these skills is always to practice so remember that links are provided for you in the description box below that will take you to worksheets where you can practice skills just like the ones we did today. And until next time, this is Jules Math Tools where math is made easy.